What's up, everybody? I'm Skip Goes Hard. I am and will always be the most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. Facts, today's date is May 18th, 2021. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are at in the world. Good night, goddamn, depending on where you're at. Well, good night, depending on where you're at in the world. Good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are at in the country. Man, we got King Slingling uh, in the building, man. We got Nate. Man, what's up, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? This is an early live. A little early, a little pussy live that I wanted to do before I go to work. You know what I mean? I've been out of town for the weekend, so when I come back, I get a chance to like recharge the battery. And kind of, you know, like I said, I did a live last night regarding the Travis Scott Chicago's <laughs> that I'm looking at right now. That's an amazing shoe. Mitches look like they came out like today. Look at this. Um, so I already know a lot of my audience were not used to, or you all are not used to me doing a live at this time. So we won't have that many people joining us. But we still can get a good combo going on. Ruff and fam, thank you. Now, this topic right here is called, uh, and I always forget. I don't know why I always, I always do that shit. Like, I'll write it, and I just, like, forget, like, right off the bat, because I want to say it, like, the way, like, the actual name of this topic right here. This is, why do people lie about having money in the sneaker community? You know what I mean? I feel that's a pretty good topic because everybody lies. You know what I mean? Caught any heat for the UA video? No, no, nah, King, not any heat. Not any heat, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I made, it, I, I made it known up front that the fucking shoes are not mine and I did not get caught up lying to people saying they were and I didn't get caught up selling them shoes and no shit like that, so... As far as any heat on me, there shouldn't be no kind of heat on me unless a nigga ain't got shit else to do but some, uh, but to pimp views off me, but to flirt with me. That's the only way I'll catch heat with that with that uh, uh, uniform alpha video if a nigga decides to want to flirt with me and get my attention. But other than that, man, yeah, no heat. You know what I mean? I ain't get caught up with the shit. I never said they were real, and I ain't never I ain't try to sell them hoes. So, hey, not on me. Looking at. But, uh, yeah, man, I want to talk about it. And I want you guys, I want you guys in the, uh, in the chat, we're going to have a, uh, this is the topic, man. Why do you all think people lie about having money in the sneaker community? You know what I mean? Like, what do you, what do you all think? Because I think that, I think that people are just afraid to say they don't have money for a two hundred dollar shoe. Like when you think about it, like in the in the sneaker community, in the sneaker community, two hundred dollars ain't shit. In the sneaker community, two hundred dollars is twenty dollars. In the sneaker community, I'm not talking about any other community because two hundred dollars is a lot of money. Two hundred dollars is damn. There's a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like if you do not think two hundred dollars is a lot of money, that means you gotta like that. God bless you. But $200 is a lot of money. You go to McDonald's right now, get a number one. You pull to the first window. Motherfucker be like, okay, that'll be $200. you be like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. $200 is a lot of money. You know what I mean? You got some people that'll, 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 uh, that'll blow $200 on a t-shirt. I'm not built like that. <laughs> My life is not built like that to spend $200 on a t-shirt, $200 on some shorts, hell, $200 on an outfit. I don't have it like that. You all may have it like that. I don't have it like that. So I'm not afraid to, to let some people know that, look, I ain't got it. Dre, what's up? YouTube is a jungle. Too many snakes, too many snakes to be in the, dra in the grass. That is true. That is true, but yeah, I'm asking you all, why do people lie about having money in the sneaker community? I want you all to answer that. 17, we got 17, jumped up to 21, people, what's up? If you haven't, go ahead and hit that like button. Like, I actually, I actually, like, want to have a convo, you know what I mean? Like, I know y'all niggas like to watch me and laugh, because, you know, I'm the funniest out of 
sneaky YouTube specs I am, but sometimes I want I want some feedback, my brothers and sister. Why do people lie about having money in the sneaker community? Even at the grocery store, two hundred dollars a lot. It is that's a lot. But if you spend two hundred dollars at the grocery store, you should know that every you should have everything you need in that basket or cart or buggy or whatever the hell you all call it. Two hundred. If you go to Walmart, you go to the supermarket, you spend two hundred dollars, you should be good for at least two weeks, at least. So two hundred dollars is a good thing at the supermarket. You know what I mean? People live two separate lives, real life versus what they want to be. Ooh, you just have to live and stop trying to impress others. And, ooh, I like that one, Ruffin. That's a good one. That's a good one. And if that's you, Ruffin fam, if that's you in the picture, yeah, I can tell you on your grown man shit. That's a grown ass man right there. <laughs> Shout out to Ruffin fam. To sit at the cool table, yeah. I guess to, I guess to stay relevant, yeah. I think some people feel ashamed that they can't get the shoes other people can and they don't want anyone saying they are broke. Yeah, that's another that's that's another thing too. I like I guess grown-ups grown-ups are afraid to just say they don't have it. You know what I mean? And that can mean that can mean from anything. You know what I mean? Let's say a shoe comes out, somebody really wants, but they can't get it. What do they say? Nah, man, I'm gonna pass on those, man. They ugly. Nah, nigga, you your account is ugly. You just just submit it. Just be like, nah, I ain't got the money for it. I'm one to admit, if I don't have the money for certain things, I'll say it. I ain't got the money for it. But skip, man, you got you got all the shoes in the background, bro. E I E I O. Yeah, nigga, like, this is years of collecting. This is years. All this shit you see behind me, all this shit over there, all this shit over there that you can't see, this is years of collecting. I did not buy all these shoes fucking last week. No, this shit is years. You see 2019 back there, 2018 back there, 2017 back there, 2016 back there, 2015 back there, 2014 back there. You see, you see 2011 back there, 2012, 2013. You know what I mean? This is years. 90s shit over there. Early 2000s shit down there. Like, this is years. I did not just wake up and be like, you know what? I'm going to spend $30,000 on some shoes today. No. All this shit takes time. I make good money and $200 for shoes is expensive. Okay, yeah. I like, and I, hey, I like how you said that. I can't pronounce your name. I was going to say tan. I like that. You said you make good money. I like that. First off, shout out, shout out to you for making good money. You know what I mean? Shit. And two hundred dollars for shoes is expensive. Yeah, that is true. Like two, if you think about two hundred dollars for the shoes that we that we pay for, I mean, this shit is. It's not cheap. I don't know anybody that's just that that can just just give away. Like Nick, hey, look, uh, look, motherfuckers, motherfuckers can. Motherfuckers spend two hundred dollars on shoes every weekend, but find someone that's just gonna give a homeless person two hundred. They'd be like, "No, mm -mm. shit, two hundred dollars, and that's a lot." Find somebody that can do some shit like that, and then you ain't doing it. Yeah, you can spend your two hundred dollars every weekend on little puss ass shoes. I get it. I get it. Your collection, yeah, but give that homeless person two hundred dollars. You be no, uh, -uh. hell no, nigga, two hundred. Shit, exactly. You ain't got it. Get your goof ass out here. You ain't rich. Get your goof ass out here, nigga. If you rich, give that homeless person two hundred. Let's see how rich you are. Oh, uh, exactly, nigga. Stop. All these shoes these niggas buy every weekend. That don't mean shit. That just shows that you know what I mean. They they got it for them shoes, and ain't nothing wrong with that shit. But give that homeless person two hundred. Motherfucker, look at you. Be like, uh, uh, uh looking at. Start making ugly ass noises and shit. I make good money, and two hundred dollars for shoes is expensive. I have a small shoe collection because I pass on most shoes because I got bills. I like that tan. Uh oh, sneakers pass. East cities. I'm bringing. I'm bringing that to you first. I'm sneakers pass. I'm letting you know. I'm the first. I'm first. I'm live right now before everybody. Sneakers pass. Just to let you all know. You know what? I like that you said. I'm gonna read it again. I make good money, and two hundred dollars for shoes is expensive. I have a very small shoe collection because I pass on most shoes because I got bills. Exactly, Tan. Now, if you were someone to be like, man, fuck them bills. Let me get these shoes. Shit, it'll be look, it'll be looking, it'll be looking kind of wild over there. Chubby, what up? It's really taken away from my weed budget. I feel you. Malachi said, "Fast dudes will claim they're balling, but won't, uh, but, but won't 
show that. Oh, dudes will claim they're balling, but won't show that house in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. Skip, is there someone you're referring to that rubs you the wrong way, or you're just speaking generally? Generally, bro. Just generally. You know what I mean? Because, like, when you think about it, like, you see it all the time, man. Like, we, we, we see people, we know people who 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 spend the money on buying a shoe every weekend down there every weekend but that's kind of like that's all we know them for you know what i mean like they don't and not not saying that if you buy sneakers every weekend you got to have the biggest house you got to have the baddest cars you got to be you got to be like this i'm i'm not saying that and that's not that that is not what it's all about but i'm just saying that on on social media in a sneaker community we just see the person with the shoes we see the person with the shoes you know what i mean we don't know what else is going on in their lives you know what i mean the shoes might be the only thing that's going for them and then in their in their life they living bad you know what i mean i wonder how many living badass niggas they're out in the world who got shoes every weekend you know what I mean? You walk in their house, them got them old ass doors in their house and shit. You're like, damn, you need to renovate this bitch. You know what I mean? But no, nah, nigga, shit, man. Hey, nigga, nigga, damn them doors, bro. Shit, nigga, them livings coming out. You know what I mean? Like goofy shit like that. You know what? I'm not even going to say goofy shit like, hey, it is what it is. It don't matter. Nigga, look at it. But why do people lie about having money in the sneaking community, you know? The shoe game will have someone broke. Always new styles and you never be satisfied. Exactly. Ruffin, you speaking facts, shit. I give more credit for passing on the shoe and handling business. Hell yeah. Yeah, the grown man shit. I guess you have to act like you have money when you have no personality to succeed. That is true. There's a lot of boring, blank wall ass niggas in the steam community right now. They ain't got shit else to show. But them ugly ass shoes in the background, they they claim it's the shit and they're not looking at Kevin, what up? A YouTuber who I respect is he got kicks. That dude works at Hibbits, getting shoes every weekend, but also being humble and looking out for others. That's rare. That's rare sneaker YouTube like it. Yeah, man, shout out that he got kicked. Puss sad. Yeah, he does that. Yeah, he got kicks has always been a humble person. You know what I mean? Soft boy says. He got kicks be like, what's up, everybody? Uh, we got a uh... soft boy says. Shout out that he got a kid puss ass, but yeah. That's one person. And it's rare. It's rare when you see it in the sneaker community. You know what I mean? Like sneaker YouTubers. You have you have ones who are humble and they show it. You also have sneaker YouTubers who are, hell no, nah, he a clown too. Oh, well shit, man. Hey, Jake, Jake respects him, and then audio said he a clown too. So I don't know. That's it. I don't think he is. Mainly, I'm saying I don't think he is because he got kids. He's never did anything wrong to me. So, but audio, if you think he is, then he might have done something wrong to you. And that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. But, uh, shit, shout out that he got kicked. Soft voice ass. Uh, dudes will buy, uh, Shmiga. <laughs> Shmiga. Dudes will buy $300 shoes, but won't put more than 10 in their gas tank. That is true. There's a lot of, uh, E riding ass motherfuckers out there. I'm going to make it. It's too hard nowadays to get your hands on shoes nowadays. I walked in the store and I got the UNC to Chicago patent leather. Just walked in like two days after no one was on ones. But now every Jordan flying. Cleveland. Oh, what's up, Cleveland? Yeah, man. I guess it, it depends on what's going on in the current sneaker. You, I don't know, man. It is like that, though. Jada Sneaker guy, man. Shout out to Jada Sneaker guy, man. Humble dude. Looking at us. That nigga Jada Sneaker guy does this shit. Do his videos and he get the fuck on. That's that's all he does. Does his videos, gets the fuck on. Minds his own business, puts his content out, and shit, he does what he do. Shout out to Jay. Skip, Lair Testers, Fomer, and Roscoe, the real is on the YouTube. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate that, Garfeezy. There are a few more real people. A few more real people. Uh, uh, but I thank you. Thank you. Forrest, aka you got kids is a good guy looking as you peep those YouTubers trying not make that face in the thumbnails anymore. Hey, no limit. Hey, I think they still doing that shit. They still got that cock mouth wide open. 
just working with my pussy. Motherfuckers will buy hella shoes, but don't clean their ass. Talking about I'm hella clean. Hell yeah, countdown kicks. There's a lot of skit mark draws ass niggas in the world. Women too. Them panties be lined up than a bitch. Them underwears, them underwears be lined up than a bitch. There's somebody right now with a marked up ass underwear talking about shit, nigga. Hey, Skip, you gonna get them uh then you get you get them P, them PSG sevens that's coming out. There's somebody right now, underwear marked up in the bitch talking about hey Skip, you get them PSG uh sevens when they come out. Uh, uh let me look. My YouTuber shout out is Bobby Sneaker World. Oh shit, I ain't see it. Eddie, what up, bro? My my YouTuber shout out to Bobby Sneaker Rail. He always throwing a sister retail. That's what's up, man. Sneaker YouTubers who throw sis out. Hey, shout out. People have all these sneakers, but they only have two outfits. Shit, I feel you. I feel you. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, look, I'm I'm someone that if you watch if you watch me, I usually wear like the same shit damn there all the time because I'm cheap when it comes to my clothes. I feel like if my shit ain't tattered, if my shit still looks good. If it's not faded, I'm still wearing it. I'm not buying a whole bunch of shit just to, just to, you know, collect. Because the job I work, I have my uniform on. You know what I mean? So it's not like I'm wearing regular clothes. So all that shit still looks good. I got some old ass shirts that I still wear. And I also wear my own merch. You know what I mean? And it still looks good. You know what I mean? I'm not one. I don't, bro, I don't have the drip like other people. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, you know all the, uh, the, you know, like all the, the you know, man, I don't have it because I'm, I'm, I'm used to my style. I got a plain ass style. You know what I mean? My ass is clean. The underarms are not lit. Nuts ass washed. I'm fresh. I smell good. So it don't matter. I'll, we I'll wear plain clothes, but I'm clean. You got niggas out there who got the drip. Them underwears, all onion, nothing and shit, onion underarm, stanky booty ass niggas be walking around. They got the drip, but they funky. Fuck that, nigga. I I go hard, nigga. Look at them. My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. All right. Yeah, I'm working too. I had to walk away for a minute. Look at this. Kais is worse with the oral thumbnails. He's an oral. I like that. I'm sitting out in my garage with my puss at waiting for UPS with the Kobe's and U USPS for the UNC fours. Hell yeah. Skip got 89 Jordan one boxes back. On. <laughs> Good afternoon. Shit, shout out for San Jose. What's up, Anthony? Thank you for replying to my messages on the chat live yesterday. No doubt. Zay, what's up, man? Wish I did. I got like 42 T's. Too many. Shit. We got our own swag. Yeah, man. Big up. What's up, y'all? Uh, shout out to Mr. Orchard Beach. Skip, what's good, bro? Disclaimer, I, I make being broke look good. Hey, you know what I mean? Shit. Hey, I'm about to scroll down all this shit. I'm sorry if y'all were texting. I, I got to catch up to the bottom. Driver's foot, I'll never let that go. Classic. I, I always put a clean towel down. So that bull, yeah, man, driver's foot. I made that shit up. Well, I I made, I didn't, look, I didn't make up putting a towel down to protect your shoes. I didn't make that up. If you've been doing that shit, for years, I, I just call it driver's foot. I made that shit up. I'm skip goes hard. I made up driver's foot. I made that name up. Facts. No, skip. Will you ever review some Yeezys in the future, Anthony? I've reviewed plenty of Yeezys. You gotta check my old ass videos. Some of these, some of these buying all sneakers, but but having swamp boot. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, smelling like Shrek. Yeah, yeah, nasty Buddha. <laughs> but yeah, man, like, why do people? I mean, I'm gonna ask some new people, Cousin Zay, why do people lie about having money in the sneaker community? You know what I mean? That's my nuts right there. I'm scratching. I don't give a shit. I'm at house. I ain't doing this shit out in the open, right? Am I out? Am I out in the store scratching my nuts? No. Anyway, 
I'm too real with you all, man. I just let you all know that I'm scratching my nuts right now. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What are you going to do? You're going to tell everybody, hey, excuse me, scratch your nuts. Yeah, I'm scratching my nuts in my house right now. <laughs> with shoes everywhere. That's what I'm doing. Looking at. Anyway, driver's foot. Keep keep making us laugh. Cleveland all day. You heard. Keep shining. Hey, thank you, Capo. Shit, look at that. Thank you for that $5 dono, too, man. Shit, about to give me number one. I ain't trying to be a part of it. Look at this. Popular ca popularity ca contest, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, Skip Goes Hard Live, YouTube slagging on the notifications. Man, Red X, bro. I don't know, bro. This shit, I don't know. All I got to say, is, man, make sure your bells are dingling ding and you hit all. Like, every time, all videos I, 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 I put out, you get the uh, notification. I don't know what. And I, I'm not the only one that's going through this goofy shit, so I don't know. I'll scratch my nuts in a store if need be. Hell yeah, I be doing that shit too, but I act like I'm trying to look for some shit in my pocket. I'm like, damn, where are my keys at? I be scratching my shit. I damn, where are my keys? Yo, what the fuck? Where are my shit? I'll be digging my pocket, scratching my nuts. Like, I'm looking for my keys and shit. Like, where, where am I? I'll be doing all that shit. I'm going to fuck. What are you going to do? You going to arrest me? <laughs> you gonna... If you got to if you got to scratch your nuts in public, put your hands in your and act like you're looking for your keys and shit and scratch that shit. I'll be doing that shit all the time. Like, where am I? Where am I shit? Looking at. Skip, you and Zay are keeping it real. Zay be keeping that shit a hundred. Look at us. Hey, Skip, that word watching your live. Hell yeah, Key. What's up, Key? It's shit, your plus sad. Shout out to Key over there. Looking at Kia V. Looking at Kia V plus sad. Wearing Travis Scott's with athlete's foot. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 hard, hard foot ass. What about, he said, what about wedgies, though? I mean, wedgies, wedgies, you know? Is it pocket pull? <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> Put your pocket pull in. Oh, my bad. Somebody did ask me the next shoe. The next shoe I'm looking forward to. Shit, man. Those uh, those all white Nike Air Max pre days. The all white Nike Air Max pre days. Skip stuff was haunted yesterday. He said it was haunted. Oh, shout out to everybody who got their uh their bacon's. The funniest. You damn right. I am the funniest. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, sneakers pass. I'll let y'all know. Sneakers pass. Bruh. Man, I, look, I told you all, look. I told you all, look, I buy what I like, man. And it, it's so, it, you know what? It's fucked up that people buy what they like. Everybody, we're all human. We are, we are all different for a reason. God made us different for a reason. We buy what we like. And it's a damn shame when you buy what you like, some people consider the shit not heat. There's probably there's probably a woman in the world who fine as shit. That bitch cute than a motherfucker. She fine. And all she has is Chucks. All she has is Chuck Taylors. Chucks and Vans. I bet there's a girl, I bet there's a girl right now in the world who who bad as shit. She fine. All she wears is Chucks and Vans. But you have a but you have a rock steady and bebop looking bitch who got all the Jordans in the world. Go to that girl and be like, uh, you ain't she ain't got no heat. She ain't got no heat. All she got, all she got is bands and chucks. She ain't got no heat. Rock steady and bebop looking ass. Yo, rock steady and bebop. You got rock steady and bebop looking ass. You got all the J's in the world, but the cute girl over there with nothing but the chucks and the vans, that bitch be like, she ain't got no heat. You know what I mean? Like, isn't that mean? Isn't that messed up? Isn't that messed up when you buy what you like? There's somebody right now who only likes, you know what I mean, like Air Maxes, Vans, Chucks, keep it light. You know what I mean? There's probably somebody right now who finds she cute. She's she nothing none but regular Vans and Vans and shit. But you got this uh 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 a master splinter looking bitch gonna go, go say to that girl, look, hey, she ain't got no he shit, she ain't got no Jordans, she ain't got no man, get your ass out of here. It's like that. Vans and Chucks go hard. Hell yeah, that's it. All, all the J's and no ass. Hell yeah. Warthog looking ass. Got all the damn J's in a row, but you're going to talk about the cute girl. The cute girl, she ain't got no heat because all she has is Vans and Chucks. If I like it, it's heat. It could be a pair of Keds and still be fire. Hell yeah. Shit. It all depends on how you looking. Uh, shit, uh, shit. Go hard looking at The pre-days are dope, man. Look, these bitches right here, bro. Look. 
These were the shoes that I was hauling ass. Remember I was hauling ass in? I had the, I had the liquid lime. Shout out to my homie Blunt. Man, these, them hoes hard, bro. Oh, they're so comfortable. Karma is real, Skip. Fat boy doing his thing. And old buddy in Houston. Oh, you said karma is real, Skip. Fat boy doing his thing. And old buddy in Houston is down bad. That ish is real. Hey, man. Hey, look. I, hey, hey, the touch on that. Look, mother, hey, everybody has their moment. Everybody has their moment. I love my bacons, man. Should we got to be hard on them hoes looking at everybody has their moment. All the Jays and Bill like Shrek. Hell yeah, Roxanne and Bebop build ass. Broke ass trying to keep um broke ass, broke ass trying to keep up looking at hell yeah. Guys are more concerned to their heat instead of washing them asses. Hell yeah, Anthony said. Asses be lit in a bit. I need some bacons. I missed them, man. Them bacons hard, bro. I'm looking at them here right now. Looking at, I always caught what I like. Some of my favorite shoes I got under fifty dollars. Hell yeah, Matthew. And you still, and you, and you, and you still, and you, and you, and you rocking them holes to the fullest. Clean on the scene, man. Shout out to T Ward. Looking at, man. That shit, man. That shit don't make no damn sense, bro. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I guess. I guess. To, to, I guess to some people it's embarrassing to to say you don't have money for a shoe that's only like two hundred dollars, and people think like two hundred dollars is cheap. Depending on how your lifestyle is, two hundred dollars could be cheap. Two hundred dollars, two two hundred dollars could be a drop in the bucket, depending on how you are set up in your life, depending on your lifestyle. You know what I mean? There could be somebody right now with two badass cars, badass house, and be like, man, I am not spending $200 for no shoes. What do you think this is? You know what I mean? Man, what do you think this is? What do you think this is? I work hard for my money. You think I'm going to spend $200 for some shoes? Shit. You know what I mean? Like little stuff like that. You know what I mean? I say I say probably more foreigners. You know what I mean. I can speak on foreigners. My dad is a foreigner, so uh, everybody be like, "Hey, Skip, why you?" Uh, I can speak on foreigners. My dad is a foreigner. He's from Africa. He's an African, and Africans don't be spending like no. I say some because some Africans be like, oh, "Shit, fuck it, they gonna spend it. They got it." Be like, nah, I'm not. You spend two hundred dollars on some shoes? You crazy? You crazy? <laughs> Look at us. Rich people wear monarchs. Hell yeah. I like hey, I like that one meme where it shows like uh uh Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. And you know what I mean? They say they worth billions of dollars, but not a Louis Belt in sight. I love that meme because that shit is true. They wear some shit, they like got some shit at JC Penney's, some slacks and shit, and got a billion fucking dollars. You know what I mean? And then you got all these eh, 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 roach looking ass niggas who ain't got no money with fucking Louis shit and everywhere. Like, nigga, get your ugly ass out of here, nigga. Broke ass. That's what you niggas sound like. Look like fucking roaches and shit with all this fucking uh, bullshit ass damn uh, 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 designer on and shit like that. I mean, the, people, the people who made the design don't even like your black fucking ass. So I don't know why you, why you, why you pressed on wearing it. <laughs> call you call you all types of niggas and be behind your back, but you still wearing it because you gotta you gotta show the drip and shit like that. Stupid ass coons, niggas so fucking dumb. <laughs> but if you wanna wear it, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm not. Hey, if it's if you if there's anybody out there who polo down, I mean not polo Gucci and the Louis and all that shit, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Just make sure you're uh you 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 are productive out in these streets and you're a good person. And don't be mean. You know what I mean? Hey, I said I bought my polo stuff on sale. Hell yeah. I haven't bought polo since I was like in college. I was really, you know, you know the funny thing about it is like union usually when person like when I think someone says in college, I'm thinking like right after high school. No, like I was in college like 2013 2014 you know what i mean like i was already like out the military using my gi bill you know what i mean and i remember i would go to class and there was a dude that always wore polo shirts every single like the collar like you know what i mean like the polos 
and I will be like, yeah, it is. I will go to the outlets. I will go to Round Rock outlets. You know what I mean? If you're from Central Texas, and I will just go to the polo store and I will get my my, my polo shirts. I'll get all colors, pastel colors. I'll get my I'll get my pastel, my little Easter colors, and then I'll get it with the forest greens, the whites, the blacks, the reds, the blues, the navy blues. I have all these polo shirts. That's when I used to go to my go to class. I'll have I'll be polo down. Well, I ain't gonna be polo down. I'll just have a polo shirt, some some jeans and shit, and the J's or whatever the hell. You know what I mean? That'll be me. You know what I mean? But hell yeah. And that is smart, man. Buy your shit on sale. Like, why you gotta? I, the people need to realize. I understand. Like, if you're younger, yeah. But if you like in your thirties and forties, now who are you trying to impress when it comes to uh, clothing? Because usually, by the time in your thirties and your forties, you already have the one that you want. You know what I mean? She or he already accepted how you are. You know what I mean? And the fact is, like, you know what I mean? Like, who are you trying to impress? If you if you with somebody, if if you if 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 you if you're with somebody right now, and they they met you when you were, you know what I mean, like wore regular ass clothes and shit like that, and they accepted the fact that look, man, you 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 hey, I love you for you. I don't care about all that damn, all that fancy smancy stuff, you know what I mean? Like, and there's nothing wrong with treating yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You can get some, you know what, man. Shit, I work hard. I've been working at this company for 20 years. I'm gonna get me a uh I'm gonna get me a Louis belt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you feel accomplished to get a little little puss that little strip of leather, little puss that belt, you know what I mean? Hey, by all means, do it. But a lot of the times, like, man, we shouldn't be out here just I no, I ain't gonna say we. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I forgot where I was coming from. Bottom line is, man, I'm not impressing nobody. Shit, man. Some YouTubers buy all these shoes and designer, but are really depressed in real life. Hey, they probably are. Shit. I see y'all with JC Penny and shit. Sleepy, what up, y'all? I mean, I said y'all, what up, bro? My bad. If I was going on my shit, I didn't get a chance to read off what y'all was talking about, but I see y'all having a good conversation out there. You guys were conversing. So yeah, I see it. He said, Bugle Boy, looking at him. I'm about to start wearing duck head again. Hell yeah. <laughs> I had my Nautica. I used to wear like, not man, I'm talking about like in the early 2000s and shit. I used to wear my, my, Nautica, my Nautica shirts, a little puss, that little, uh, little boat, little sailboat, whatever the hell the Nautica thing is. I wear my little Nautica shit. Now it's all my shit. I go to Marshall's Burlington to get clothes. Hell yeah. Hey, as long as you wash your ass and you're kind to of people, you wear anything you fucking want. And there's somebody right now that'll read that shit and be like, oh, that nigga go, that nigga go, that nigga go to Marshalls and Burlington. Oh, 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 oh. And yeah, and they're right, looking ugly as shit right now. Ugly. Hello from Spain. It's 822. Fran, what's up? Skip, your last video of the Shadow 2.0 is arguably the funniest on the whole YouTube. Which one? You talk about the one when I was uh 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 sneaker douche kicks kicks. When I was sneaker douche kicks kicks, when I was that one. The big ass table with the arms and shit. That one. Yeah, Dark Man Skip. You never read the chat. Oh, yeah, man. I'm just, I need to start reading the chat because sometimes I'd be in the zone and I'd be watching that shit just go up. I'd be like, hey, man, I'd be focused on what I'm talking about. Ha, my kitty photos with Duckhead are hilarious. <laughs> hey, hey. Hold on. Hold on. Who said that shit? Zay, you said that shit? Hey, cousin Zay, cousin Zay, I bet, I bet your family, I bet your family, I bet you was clean. I bet that ass was clean. You know what I mean? I bet you, you I bet you was an ashy. That hair was brushed or combed, whatever the hair you, when you, when you was a kid. You know what I mean? Uh, you had the duck head on, but I bet you were clean. I bet your family took care of you. And I'm saying that not, I'll, cousin Zay, I'm not saying that because I feel like you're complaining. No, I'm just saying that, yeah, you had the duck head on when you were a kid, and I'm sure. I will hope shit. Uh, yeah, you was you shit, you still fresh as a kid. Fresh, you damn right. Yeah, yeah you, you know. Skip, I'll be flexing. I don't buy shoes to sit. I rock all my J's on these broke boys. Different J every day of the week. Daddy Jellyfish, ain't nothing wrong with that. Daddy Jellyfish, I'm laughing because when you say that, hey, flex, flex. You buy you buy your shoes and you wear them. Shit, 
Mom and them didn't play that. You damn right. All old pictures of me when I was a kid, hair, we were clean, clean clothes. Them then we had haircuts. We had the we 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 had the we were we weren't ashy. We were clean. My damn, my parents took care of me, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah you bought them old ass pictures. Now I'm talking about that. We all I'm talking about hair always fresh. High top fade and shit. My box, nigga, my box was fresh. I had a little part and sometimes and shit. Hair was hair was always cut. Clean clothes. Hey, my parents ain't play that goofy shit. Get the fuck out of here. Look at this. And I didn't have all kinds of J's and shit. I did not get my first pair of J's until I was in high school. Ninth grade, to be exact. And that was not me pooting. I bet y'all he pooped? No, I'm in this fucking stool. When I sit down, it pops down. When I get up, it pops up. Look at this. <laughs> Facts. Kids now be having all hype shit, but be dirty as shit. Hell yeah, Matthew. Have all the hype shit in the world. I mean, going to school like ugly. <laughs> Stanky booty ass. I got love for I, I got I got my love for kicks from my uncles. They you and hop dogs, uh hop dogs age. Shit, hell yeah, man. We, we keeping it clean with the little puss at, uh kicks. You know what I mean? I was about to say Jays, but shit, man, whatever kicks your uncles was wearing and shit, looking at. Damn, man, I gotta get a damn chair, man, because I'm in this store. This shit fucking my neck up. Ah, damn, I'm looking at my damn neck hurt. I'm, I'm all sitting up like this and shit. Puss ass. Puss ass. Look, puss ass arm. Look, y'all check out the black ass arm. Man, I ain't got shit. Anyway. But yeah, man. Why do people lie about having money in the sneaker community? And you know one thing? A lot of people like to assume that certain people are just balling, just doing it big. And we see it in memes all the time. You know memes where they'll show someone's dirty ass, messed up ass apartment, like their room, or not even apartment. It could be just a, a dirty ass like room and shit. Like they know those memes. You know those memes where it'll be like a girl's talking and she'd be like, "Yeah, I want him to be like six five and have this and have that." And then they show her room. That bitch room dirty as fuck. That shit look like. Like just just dirty as shit. <laughs> I remember when those kamikazes dropped and they all had pairs in the 90s. Hell yeah. I mean, your uncles were doing it. Clout is the new crack. Hell yeah. Play on what up? You know what I mean? Like this shit is it's it's sad in a way, but like like you know what I mean? Like it is what it is, bro. Like, bro. Why do people lie about having money in the sneaker community? You know, I'm 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 let me ask the chat. Let me ask the little chat real quick. Do you all think I'm gonna ask the sneak? I'm gonna ask the sneak. I'm gonna ask the chat. I'm asking chat. We are live right now, May 18th in the year 2021. I'm asking the chat right now. Do you all think sneaker YouTubers are rich? Think about all the ones who you follow. Think about all the big name sneaker YouTubers that you follow. You know, the ones that basically have y'all niggas talk to yourself in the DMs because they never going to fucking reply to you. You be talking to yourself. Oh, what's up, bro? What you doing, man? Hey, man, I saw the video, man. Hey, I got a question. Just talking to yourself. Niggas are not answering. Do y'all think sneaker YouTubers are rich? And this is not me hating. I'm just asking the question. I'm not rich, and I never said I'm rich. And I'm not hating on any sneaker YouTuber who 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 seems like they doing it big. Because I don't know these niggas in real life. Never been to their house. I don't know how the fuck they really living. All we see is pictures. Let's get it real. Y'all don't know how I'm living. I could be out here bad. Y'all don't know. And if y'all don't mind, say... 
I mean, y'all don't have the same names. I because I just asked, I just asked, do y'all think sneaker YouTubers are rich? I ain't say anything. I ain't calling nobody's fucking name out. I didn't say, I did not say, hey, type the name of the sneaker YouTubers who you feel is rich. I ain't say that shit at all. I said, do you all think sneaker YouTubers are rich? That was my question. Now let me scroll up and read this shit. Nope. Nah, nah, hell no. Most are not. Hell nah. Hell no. I'm a sneaker YouTuber. Nope, they all have jobs. Nah, bro, they ain't rich. I think they might have a comfortable life, but not rich. Hell nah. Mike Rich go to work six days a week. Cousin Zay, there are there are way more other sneaker YouTubers than Mike Rich, but I just I, I respect it though. There's a the thousand sneaker YouTubers, cousin Zay just said Mike Rich. Who else is a cousin Zay? <laughs> Uh, uh not rich but definitely have extra funds for a pricey hobby that's assuming oh shit uh that that's assuming they're collectors i'm broke as hell nah bro they act like they rich but in real a rea reality they're broke super duper ruben might be the only one most sneaker youtubers need a fashion tip optimistic I don't really follow bigger sneaker YouTubers because I can't relate to them. I rather have good conversations with us common folk. Hop dog, I already knew you was gonna have a fire ass damn uh, uh comment. A few of them rich, some comfortable, and some broke depends on tears. Reno, I like that. Super duper, move, super duper might be the only one. I'm poor as a church mouse. Seth Fowler looked like he got a little bread. Fuck man. Hey, hey, the resellers think we're going to buy their shoes if it goes sky high. I'd rather buy a used heat and save money. Hell yeah. 1% doing all right. I don't count nobody's pocket. Shit, me neither. Shit, my boy Optimus stay on the grind as well. Rich in investments, but big YouTubers for show rich. Okay. Super Duper might be the only one. Jock Slade, T Wart take months off to work. That's what, I, that's what they want to hear, Skip. Damn, he got that paper from. I don't know what that is. I'm um, rich in spirits. Skip, you stay at work as well, my bro. Hell yeah, I do. Yeah, I just wanted this to ask you all that. This is not nobody. You know what I mean? I don't want to come off as like I'm trying to find out or saying. I just said, I, and and that's why I'm glad I worded it the way I worded. I said, do you think people are rich? I said, do you, I mean, what did I say? I think. I, I what did I say? I was like, do you think speaking YouTube? Yeah, I, I said, I asked. Do you think sneaker YouTubers are rich? Okay, yeah. I ain't put no name on shit. I'm glad I worded that question the way I worded it. Great. Okay. I just wanted to, like I said, man, this is a lie. We're having a discussion. So I wanted to know, you know what I mean? Like, what you guys thought about shit. Seth Fowler has a full-time job and does very well. Shit, look at that. There's too many resellers now. Everyone getting into it. If they got kids and buying shoes every week, they got money. Soul Supremacy was like the first buy sell trade. Tugger said, hell no. Tugger, what's up, bro? Skip, do you think money buys you happiness? I say depending on the situation. I say, depending on the situation, if something tragic happens to someone, for instance, George Floyd's family got awarded millions of dollars of what happened. That money is not going to bring that man back. So as far as money buying happiness it's not gonna work as far as money buying happiness is not gonna work but if you're someone out there that, that that gets a big ass lump sum of money are you gonna change the way how you feel at that current moment depending on how you're feeling yes if i were to get a big ass lump sum with some money I'm going to be pretty happy because I know everything I'm going to do with that big ass, large ass lump sum of money. 
I would have shit planned out. Not necessarily. They better be by their kids' clothes and shoes. Also, my boy. Who's that? You should get on Twitter more often, fam. I should. James, what's up, bro? I hardly get on Twitter. I, I, I'm on my Twitter to see, you know, uh, alerts and shit. Look at that. Doesn't buy happiness, but it sure as hell helps getting past uh, speed bumps, bro. You not bullshitting on that one. Higgas thought Skip was a young Higga. He had to start throwing. Oh, he had to start showing the gray hairs on his chin. Baby face a sad. Oh, <laughs> Tree, what up, Tree? You can't take money with you when you're gone. Just make sure you know where your money is going when it's that time. Exactly. Optimistic and optimistic. I'm glad you said that shit. Just like all of us with all these goofy ass collections, big hundreds, 200, 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000. We can't take none of this shit with us when we gone. We can't. I'm <laughs> knocking over them. We can't. When we gone, this shit stain. We can't take none of this. So I guess, you know what I mean? Hey, us in the sneaker community, we're enjoying buying all these shoes. You know what I mean? Because we're never satisfied. We're never satisfied. You think about it. I think about all the shoes. Think about this shoe right here. <clears throat> when I got my cool gray fours. I got my Cool Gray 4s. I wore these motherfuckers out the store because y'all remember that? If you watched my Cool Gray 4 video, the latest retro, I wore these hoes out the store because I, uh, this is one of my favorite shoes. I wore them out the store. But was I satisfied? No. Was I satisfied? No, I wasn't. I was not because I didn't get another pair of shoes. Another pair of shoes. I wanted these shoes. They're sexy. Was I satisfied? No. We bought up all these shoes. We're never satisfied. Never. Another pair of shoes. I haven't even worn the shoes yet, but I wanted them. Am I satisfied? No. I got another pair of shoes. That's what we are. That's what we are. We'll buy our shoes. We'll buy, 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 People say, oh, man, these shoes, man, I need them. Like, I, I don't know. I hate it. And I try I try to stop saying that I need shit, y'all. I try to stop saying that I need that shit. We don't need shoes. I mean, not like, if you all, like, some people need shoes. Some people need shoes like, like us humans need air to breathe. Like, we need oxygen. Some people don't need shoes. Like, if they, if they don't get a shoe... If they don't get a shoe, bro, they start like itching and shit, start rocking back and forth. You know what I mean? Kind of like anybody, anybody that's like waiting for their shoes to be shipped. You know how, how you how you get on social media and you got some people be like, man, where's my shoes? Where's my shoes, man? They're supposed to be shipped. Oh, where's my shoes, man? Man, where's my shoes? Motherfucker, you're not even gonna wear them bitches. They're gonna go in a fucking case or they're gonna sit in a box. And just, you know what I mean? Like I said, nowadays, shoes spend more time in people's hands than on their feet. Facts. We got motherfuckers rocking back and forth. My shoes, man. They're supposed to be shipped already. My shoes. And you're not even going to wear the motherfucking shoes. <laughs> Nigga, look, the, look, the shoes will get there when they get there. Be patient. Nigga, you're not going to wear them. My shoes, man, they should be shipped. Are you going to wear your shoes? No, man, I just need to take them out the box and, and show social media, show the half, half the people who don't even give a fuck about me. I got to show them I got these shoes. I got to show these people that I got these shoes, that they, they like the shoes more than they like me. Facts. And there you have it. 
You fucking lost soul. You lost soul. Bro, I mean, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. This shit be sad out here, man. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers, motherfuckers rushing rock and forth trying to get the shoe. Like I said, shoes spend more time in people's hands than on their feet. Man, where are my Travis Scotts, bro? My Travis Scotts, they, they, my Travis Scotts, they, they should be here already. Oh, man, hell yeah, man. I bet you got a fire-ass outfit, bro. You about to break them bitches out, man, as soon as you get it right, bro? Nah, hell no, nah, man. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take a picture of them and, and show people. Man, get your stupid ass out my face. I, 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 I don't know, man. When, as as I'm getting older, I'm just starting to really realize shit, how people act, what people do, what people say, and we the, the, the motherfuckers are lost. People are lost. Like like I said, if you're if you're a sneakerhead, your brain is, is the shape of of a fucking shoe of a Jordan One. That all of us, all of us, all of us sneakerheads, our brain is the shape of a Jordan One. That's it. They open us up. They could be like, damn, this shit look like a goddamn uh, Jordan 1. You know what I mean? Do autopsy, they open us up, they be like, yeah, you're, his head, yeah, he's a sneaker head. Look at this shit. Look, look, look at the brain shape. Man, this shit look like a Jordan 1, doesn't it? That, 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 that's, that's all we need. We fucking eat, sleep, breathe shoes. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Our brains are in the shape of a fucking Jordan 1. All sneaker heads. Everybody in here, me included, shape of a Jordan 1. This is what it is. Or 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 a Jordan 11. <laughs> That's what it is. But that's no diss. Cause like I said, myself as well. My brain, we, brain shape of a, is, a, is a fucking Jordan. That's all of us in here, me included. That's what it is. That's what it is. You know what I mean? But some of us right now, we like like the how can I how can I put it? Shoes don't Oh man, how can I put it? Some of us shoes are not taking over our lives like others. You know what I mean? Like, remember what I said on this one live? You know how you have venom? You know, like the venom suit? Or you know what I mean? Or you remember Spider Man? When the, when the you know like the the black the, the symbiote wherever the hell y'all know when Spider Man was trying to fight that shit and it kept on trying to like consume him. That's how it is when it comes to these fucking shoes. And some people, it's like, we're trying to, like, trying to take this shit off, man. But it's, it's consuming us. You know what I mean? We're like, ah, 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 shoes, shoes, shoes. You know what I mean? Lame, man. These people are fucking lame. And sneaker YouTubers don't help. Sneaker YouTubers don't help when they're doing all the most. I got to get a shoe. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I got to. Oh, oh, shit. I need. I need. I need. I need. I need. I need, I need, I need. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's, 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 sneaker YouTubers don't help that shit, man. I need, I need them. I need, I need. They try to, they do all that shit on the camera to make you all look like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, like, like this shit is real. Like, oh, man, like, he, he need the shoes. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Bro, all y'all gotta do is just watch these lames out here, bro. Watch them. Watch how they act. Watch how they act, bro. And you know what I mean? There's, you can tell. I'm all out of breath. I'm all fat and shit. You 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 can tell you you can tell people who have the money versus people who don't have the money. This is somebody who has money right here for shoes. Yeah, man. Shit. Hey, these told those shoes right there. Shit. Hey, I want them. Hell yeah, I want them. But if I miss out, hey, I'll be all right. That's somebody with money. Here's a motherfucker with no money right here. Them shits right there, hell yeah, I'm getting those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm getting them. Shit, man. Hey, 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 I I'm getting them bitches. Nah, nah, hey, hey, nah, I'm getting them. That's a motherfucker with no money. Here's a nigga with, here's, here's a nigga with money. Yeah, man, but shit, if I miss out, bro, I ain't sweating, man. On to the next one, bro. Or, I mean, hey, am I got to pay a little resale for it? You know what I mean? Hey, I, hey, shit. Hey, if I really want it, I'm going to get it. But if I pass, yo, man, I'll be all right. Man, I'm not even tripping. That's a motherfucker with money. Here's a nigga with no money. I, I want that. I want that one. 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 Then get your broke ass out of here. And then you ain't getting shit, ugly ass nigga. Shut up. You ain't getting it. Stop. 
Stop. You're not getting it. Stop. Just admit you don't have the money and move on. Mr. Fix, what up? Yeah, I'm thinking about taking a break from watching sneaker content. Well, Kia, watch me. Fuck everybody else. Watch me, though. Uh, Because it really does make you just keep wanting. Kia, watch me. Shit. But yeah, I'll feel you, Kia. Shit. You know what I mean? It's like nowadays, don't forget to blame the boss. Oh, yeah, boss be on that bullshit, too. Boss be on that bullshit. Jumpman Chris thinks he can legit check shoes. Man, I don't even know about that shit right there. I'm like this. If, he ain't go, if, you, if, you, if you do not go to the college or the university of finding out if shit is real or fake, don't don't come at me when a little puss ass little light with a little battery in it talking about, hey, I think these shoes are like, get your goof ass out of my face, bro. I don't get that shit. Now, if you were, if you were, if you were raised, if you were raised, and I'm talking about like, I'm thinking like the only person I could believe someone coming to me tell me if some shoes are fake if it's all you wore. From you were fucking if from from the age of eleven to nineteen to twenty years old, if fucking if fucking uh if fucking over cross rotters or or uh. UAs and shit. If someone has been wearing, be, being around and wearing UAs from the age of fucking eleven to like twenty two, I will believe you because you are way more than educated in what shit looks like, what shit smells like, what shit feels like. You know what I mean? I will believe you. I'll be like, damn man. I guess, damn. I'll be like, damn. That buddy got over me. Ain't this a bitch? But if you someone has probably never around any kind of fucking uh uniform alphas. And you're going to come to me with a little puss-ass flashlight with a little whole-ass battery in it. Tell me, hey, man, come here, man. Let me check your shit. Like, nigga, get, psh, get your goof ass out of my face. How am I supposed to believe you? And how is this shit legit? Don't y'all see? You will have to be someone who who, who is around. I would trust someone who openly wears UAs to go around legit checking people saying if their shit is real or fake instead of someone who would never wear a fucking UA and let it be known and put it out in public to tell me if my shit... Nigga, get your ass out of here, bro. Don't y'all see? And this is not calling nobody out. I'm the same. That'll be like you get hired on at a job. And you got a motherfucker who works there part time, hardly there, trying to tell you the ins and the out of this job instead of someone that's been working at the job full time for the past 15 fucking years. You're going you gonna to listen to somebody that's been working at this shit part time, off and on. Motherfucker show up whenever he wants to show up. You gonna listen to that person instead of listening to the person that been in this work, been in this job for like 15 years full time. Get the fuck out of here. You gonna believe full time 15 years, or are you gonna believe a, a year part time off and on, nigga? Who you gonna who you, who you gonna believe? They try to they try to teach you the ins and outs of this job, but you are gonna have somebody who don't even want to be associated with wearing UAs. Don't want no part of it. Probably been around maybe a, a couple years here and there. But you trust this person is to let you know what's going on with this shoe right here. Man, yeah. Man, I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. Shout out to Trome again. The motherfuckers be sheeps out here, bro. Shout out to Trome again. Motherfuckers, don't be a sheep. Don't be a sheep. Think for your own. You have your own mind. Don't be a sheep. You got motherfucking grown-ups out here. Shout out to Tone. Skip, those are facts. What you saying? Real talk. Hell yeah, Tone. I, I, I just, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't get it, bro. I, I feel like the content that I put out on this, on this platform, me being who I am, I'm gonna be. I don't know, man. I just feel like, man, like when I say, y'all, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna take my glasses. When I'm, when I'm sitting, I got small ass eyes. 
when I say that shit, when I say I am the most underrated, never duplicated, we 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 can skip the funny because I am, I am, but we can skip the funnies. When I say I'm the most underrated, bro, that shit, I mean it. I mean it, man. Y'all don't get it. I know some of you all get it. We got 105 people watching right now. I say watching because some people are probably driving, listening to me right now. You're probably you're listening to me right now. Or you're just here just waiting for me to say your, your fucking name. You're probably a lame-ass nigga out there that's probably waiting for me to say your name. And you 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 irrelevant. Nobody need to say your name, whoever you are. I'm just saying if there's someone out there that's like, I want to go say your name, you trash. I'll drink, I'll, I'll drink a cup of, of nails before I'll fucking uh 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 give you any kind of clout or shine, goof and <laughs> that's all jump. Oh shit, let me read that shit again. Y'all hit that like button. Hit the like button. Y'all know I'm not speaking facts. A lot of people are afraid to speak facts. Because they don't run, they don't want to ruin their little pussy ass little image. They're known to be the shoe person to get all the shoes. Man, I bet. Hey, hey, that's man. I don't know, man. I saw a gentleman, Chris, mess a guy up on a shoe, legit checking, and almost got his ass beat. He was scared. <laughs> I think I saw that video. I think that was in Trolls. I didn't watch that video, but I watched when Trolls talking about people just want to fit in, bro. Inclusion is a hell of a drug. Yeah, hop the, he was like, people just want to fit in. I was like, uh, I respect anybody. Bro, I respect anybody. I respect anybody that just makes their videos, sticks to their guns, they put their content out. Or not even, I'm not even talking about puss ass nigga you just I'm talking about anybody in general. You know I me, mean? if you are someone who wants everybody to win, you mind your own business. Shit, you pay your taxes, you take care of your family, you brush your teeth, you wash your face, you wash your ass, you leave people alone, you like shoes, you buy your shoes, you don't fuck with nobody, you don't mess with nobody, you don't troll nobody. I respect that. And there's not that many people out there who just sticks to themselves. They leave people alone. They don't troll people. They don't fuck with people. They don't make fun of people. They wash their ass, brush their teeth, wash their face. You know what I mean? They leave people alone. They go to work. They take care of themselves. They take care of the family. They take care of the priorities. There are like motherfuckers like that. There's a few in between in the sneaker community. Cause right now, man, when it comes to the sneaking community, like like I said, like I always say, when it comes to the sneaking community, man, all that damn, oh, oh, we family, man, we a family, man. Come on, man, we need we need, we need to work together. We a family, we a family. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We need we 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 need, we need to get it together, y'all. We need to get it together, y'all. We a family. We a family. We need to get it together. You know what I mean? We gotta help each other up. We a family. There is no family in this shit. You're cool with who you're cool with. You are cool with who you are cool with. That big sneaker community family bullshit, that shit is gone. You are cool with who you are cool with. The sneaker community, this shit is not no big family. It ain't no big family. Because families, there's tough love in families. I get it. There's backstabbing in families. I mean, I get it. I mean, not everybody's family is fucking perfect. There's some, there's some of you all probably have some family members who you be like, nah, man, I know we we, we family and all, but you ain't coming up in my, my motherfucking house. No, you stay your ass outside. No, you don't need to come in my house. You stay in that car. I'll bring it out to you. You don't need to come in my house. Because the last time you came to my house, my fucking, my fucking forks and knives and spoons were missing. And you were the only one in my house. You stay your ass outside. You pull up in the driveway, I come out to you. There's little shit like that, you know what I mean? But all this damn sneaker, this, we a sneaker community, man. We a family. Ain't no fucking family in this shit. Ain't no family in this shit. Like I said, man, this is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Get in where you fit in. Let 
Let a height of let let a height of shoe come out on the Nike sneakers app. Unless you ask somebody, hey man, hey, you think you can uh you can you can hit for me, bro? Man, we a family, man. We a family. Hey, bro, hey, you think you can hit for me? Motherfucker be like, uh yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah, bro, I got you. Knowing damn well, buddy, wear a size 12, you wear a size 10. And on the morning of that drop, nigga, that account is on that 10. Nigga, fuck you mean. You think I'm a, <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to try. No, nah, no. Oh, come on, man. You say you don't even like those shoes, bro. Come on, man. Trying to hit for a size 12 for me, man. Come on, man. You've been saying you've been trashing that shoe for a whole fucking month straight, man. Come on, bro. Try to hit for me. You think that nigga going to try to hit for that person? Hell no, man. Especially that size 12 going for like 700 right now. You think I'm going to blow my damn $700 trying to help my my, my, my my fellow brother man out? I've been, motherfucker, been trashing this shoe for a month straight. Size 12 is going for $700, $800. You know somebody who really wants that size 12 to wear. You think a motherfucker going to blow that damn money and try to help somebody out? Fuck no, nigga. I'm going to be like, I'm trying to resell these bitches. Hey, I'm sorry for you. Man, I'm trying to tell you. I mean, this is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, bro. Get in where you fit in. This shit real out here in these streets. But we but we a family. Nigga, that ain't no that damn family. We a family. I don't even want to hear nobody talking about, hey man, shit, man. We sneaking community, man. Shit, nigga, we a family, bro. Nah, you cool with who you cool with. You cool with who you are cool with who you are cool with. Yeah, they be saying, I got you with a side eye. Yeah. Hell yeah. I remember Hop Dog. Hop Dog. Hop Dog showed me tough love. Hop Dog had to grab my ass by my car and be like, look, Skip, don't play me. Hop Dog, you remember? I hit, I hit on a shoe. Hop Dog. He ended up hitting on a shoe that, uh, that I wanted. And I came to Hot Dog. I was like, yeah, man, I want to see, uh, uh, I'll, I'll probably, you know, like, I, I can give you this, I can give you this shoe for, 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 for this much. I forgot what I said. Hot Dog was like, nah, Skip, look, we ain't, nah, Hot Dog grabbed my ass by my shirt. He was like, nah, Skip, we ain't doing that, bro. He was like, Skip, you know what it is, bro. Come on now. You have the shoe I want. I have the shoe you want. Let's make it happen. The easy way or the hard way. I was like, hot dog. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let, we we going to go ahead and make that even trade. You know what I mean? Hot dog. You know what I'm talking about. Hot dog. You probably laughing like a mother right now. <laughs> Long story short, I had some shoes that hot dog wanted. Hot dog ended up hitting on some shoes that I wanted. And hot dog is someone that, you know, he, he, he he's going to wear them. And then I was like, well, maybe I can, like, give it to you, bro, for this much. And the hot dog was like, nah, bro. Hot dog grabbed my damn shirt. He was like, nah, bro. Look, you know what it is. And I was like, man, my bad, bro. You can have it. And we went ahead and we did the trade on some shoes. Hot dog, you laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit, man. Sign the hot dog. And where are they at? Where are they at? Yeah. And I got, I got what I wanted. Something that I know I was going to wear. Early, shout out to Hot Dog for this assist. Jubilee's on deck, and he got what I had, and he puts them on the ground. Matt K, what up, bro? Yeah, yeah. We traded. Little shit like that. That's what it's all about. A mutual, a mutual respect we have for one another. Ain't no money need to be involved in this. No money at all. This I'm gonna send you what I have, and then you can send me what you have. Just like that. You know what I mean? We all rich, broke. Oh, we all rich, broke. Skip thought you knew. We rich, broke. <laughs> Looking at it. shout out to Perm. But Perm, Perm, run day man, look. When uh that whole live when when uh when when Buckeye City Soul and Paula was on there, Perm I remember Perm I, re I remember reading your comments, man. 
Perm, you you was you was doing a you was, you, was, you was doing a little bit too much when it came to uh Buckeye City Soul, bro. A little too much, man. And I say that perm because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of old shit that happened between you know the people who the stuff was talking about that a lot of people don't even know, man. That's why perm, when I was reading your comments, how you was just going in talking shit about Kev, I was like, come on, man, like perm, perm, I know you do the troll shit, but Perm, I will call you an honorable troll. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you just gonna just run off at the mouth as shit you don't know, Perm. You know what I mean? Perm, I think you're an honorable troll. You know what I mean? Like, you got honorable trolls who will talk shit to motherfuckers who deserve it. You know what I mean? Not just fly off the meat and just run off. You know what I mean? I was like, damn, Perm going in. And Perm don't you know what the fuck's going on. Look at this. But yeah, man, I hope y'all y'all squash that shit. You know what I mean? A trash talk to me and I trash talk why time out. I get it, and that makes sense. You know what I mean? Motherfucker talk about me. I'm gonna talk about your ass back. I get it, but I don't know, man. I just I just fell out like damn man, like a lot of people don't know like the like the background story between these people, and people were just going in on that shit. Like, man, y'all don't know, man. This is history. But anyway, man, that's some old shit. I ain't wanna even bring that shit up. That's old shit. Back to uh other shit. Sneaker addict, what up, bro? Hey, pain, pain was in here. Pain, what up? Pain, you said, skip, compare both shadows real quick. Oh, um, all right, hold on. I will, for you. No one knows the stuff that went down. It, Polo, exactly, bro. So I'm like, people commenting on what, what was going on between, you know, y'all don't even know that's a, there's a bigger background story. You know what I mean? That's why I was like, damn, man, like, niggas are flying off the meters and don't even know what's up. Hey Polo, you see how I brought that shit up? Polo, you hey Polo, you know that I ain't no fake ass nigga, bro. Oh, but Polo, you know shit. <laughs> I was like, man, y'all didn't cool out. There's a lot of shit a lot of people don't love. No, anyway. But anyway, man, sneaker added. We got Polo. What's up, bro? Sneaker added up in there. Look, look at that. Uh so let me um oh uh, shit. Uh I'll compare. I'll show you all real quick. You've been around for years, so you know what's up. Okay, yeah, I knew. I was like, man, hello. When that shit was going down, I was like, man, these niggas really don't know the background story be behind all this shit. The only thing people see is now with this whole new booty shit and all that shit. Like, niggas know the present. Niggas don't know the past. That's why I was like, man, a lot of people are running off at the mouth and don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Trying to call people out and shit. I was like, come on now. I know. That's why I was like, I, I, I'm reading the comment like, damn, man, he needs to be going. What the fuck are they talking about? You got to excuse Perm, a.k.a. Cartman. He lives with his mom and gets no attention. Oh, well, shit. I don't know, man. Hey, that's between y'all. My name is Paul. That shit's between y'all. Look at this. My name is Paul, and that shit is between y'all. Look at this. My name is Bennett, and I ain't in it. Looking at nigga. Anyway, so um, Shadow Two Point Shadow Two Point and then the uh, the fucking uh, Shadow OGs. The gray is darker on the OG ones than the Two Point The OG Shadows has that senior citizen skin, that nursing home leather right here. Even though I have not wore the 2.0s, you can just tell that it's not really senior citizen skin. That nursing home leather on the 2.0s that's on the OG shadows. You know what I mean? You can tell around the toe box that it is black. And you got the gray. OG shadows 2.0. Right there. Same black ass bottom. You know what I mean? But yeah. That's mainly it. Hop on the hop. I'm on a conference call on mute, laughing at Skip. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I mean? Like, like I mean, you know, man. Like, you can tell. You you can tell. Like, when it when it comes to the sneaker shit, there are people who have history with people on here. You may just have met someone about a week ago. And not know that these two people known each other for fucking years. You know what I mean? 
And all it takes, all it takes is one misunderstanding and that shit can blow up to a big ass issue that shouldn't even have to blow the, to blow up. You know what I mean? But a lot of the times people don't, not saying this didn't happen, but a lot of the times people don't try to take the time out and hit someone up behind the scenes and find out what the issue is. Even if you, even let's say you get into it with somebody and you don't know how to re, how to contact them, there are motherfuckers who can contact who who can contact contact them. And be like, you know what? Look, hey, I don't know if this motherfucker social media. Apparently, this nigga think it is what it is, and it's not. Can you help me out? Send the word or ha have us link up. You know what I mean? A DM somewhere, and we can squash this shit. A lot of the times, people don't want to do that shit. Motherfuckers always want the damn, the, all the damn shit to be out in the open. And that shit, it goes to a bigger snowball effect. And then you have outside niggas that don't know what the fuck, you know, what's that, what's that saying? Like, you all have been the Kool-Aid and don't know the flavor. There was a lot of non-flavor known as niggas out in the world. Niggas were tasting the Kool-Aid like, damn, is this lemon? I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Like, nigga, you don't even know the flavor, bro. What are you doing? Is this cherry? No, you. Oh, this would be strawberry. This cherry, you know, like niggas like that. Like, come on now. Where's my shit at? They drinking diet Kool Aid. Hell yeah, fat free water drinking ass. <sighs> the Shadow Two Point reminds me of a Hyper Crimson. Oh, I forgot about that damn that damn one. Damn, I forgot about that Jordan one. Just remove that orange of the Hyper Crimson. A lot of people lie on YouTube about their finances. No joke. Oh, sneaker lover. I bet, bro. Dills, that was a dope interview, bro. Oh, what interview? What interview was it, Luna? I've been your freak. Uh, so won't you come wipe me up? Oh, I'm starting to sing now. Shit, I'm starting to get tired. Damn, man, I don't know what's hot in the bed. What's that? Man, I don't understand. Man, these damn hats I wear be hot in the moment. But shit, man, look, we reached an hour and 17 minutes. I mean, I'm having a blast. You know what I mean? We got a packed house. The theater is packed. No, I have not worn my Jay Baldwin's yet. They are still, still dead cock stock. Oh man, you know what? Now we got like a hundred people in here. Bro, I want to show you all. <laughs> bro, I really want to show you these shoes again, man. For anybody, for anybody that missed the live uh last night, this is not my shoe. <laughs> this is a Chicago Travis One High OG, a Travis Scott. And I want to show you this shoe again because I told you all, this is my first time ever being around a uniform, a uniform alpha shoe. This is my first time. And hold on, let me turn on the light. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I'm trying to tell you right now. This is my first time. This is my first time being seeing and having and holding a uniform alpha shoe in person. This is my first time. And if this, um, bro, this shit, bro, words can't explain how, let me say it again. This is my first time holding and being around a uniform alpha shoe in my life holding one and, and and i'm talking about knowing that this shit is uniform alpha and i'm looking at this shoe y'all bro these bitches look hold on let me show y'all 
Let me, let me show y'all that I'm not bullshit. Hold on. Where the fucking, uh, uh, y'all hold on real quick. Um, You know what? I did kind of compare it to the retail. This is a retail pair, but it feels. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get. A, let me get another shoe. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Look. Now, the UNC one that I just showed you all, it feels different. This mocha right here, the way it feels to the touch, retail legit mocha, motherfuckers. Not, not calling my following motherfuckers. I'm talking about like in general, you know, motherfuckers who, 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 who aren't subscribed and just here just for the bullshit. The way this feels right here on the back of this retail mocha, feels just like this motherfucking shoe right here. I'm telling you, bro. Now, if you did not know, if you did not watch the live from last night when I debuted this shoe, the shoe is not mine. A homeboy sent me the shoes because he wanted me to do a video on them. These are not my shoes. These are not my shoes. These are not my shoes. I did not pay for these shoes. This shoe was not even my size. This is a size 10. This is not my size right here. He sent me the shoes to do a review on them. Me and him both know this is a uniform alpha shoe. I'm just letting you all know that if you've never, ever, 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 ever been around, bro, they smell like a fucking Jordan 1. Now, I, I will admit, they have a Jordan 1 scent, but it's not like that common jordan one cent y'all know if you wear jordan ones or been around a lot of retail pair or jordan ones you know that that jordan one has that scent like this one has the scent this one right here has a little bit of the scent but maybe i was thinking maybe because it's a travis scott or do all jordan ones have the jordan one scent polo you have a retail legit pair of of the brown travis scott ones does that shoe smell different from any other Jordan ones? Cause like I said, I never found, I never got a chance to hold a actual Travis Scott one like retail pair. So I'm I'm not sure if it smells different from other Jordan ones. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna speak on that. But I will say this: this shoe right here. If you never been around uniform alpha ones. Highness, you see, Highness, you probably just got in here. You didn't watch the live yesterday when I when I when I talked about this shoe right here. This shoe right here. If you've never been around, if you've never ever ever been around a uniform alpha shoe, and out and actually got a chance to see it and hold it and look at it in person. In all your life, you've been around retail legit shoes. You will look at this shoe. And bro, you the only uh, look. I, I I shit you not. The only the only only way, and the only reason, the only way we know this is a uniform alpha because this shit is not even out. That's it. That's it. Does it smell like savings? I don't know. <laughs> this shoe right here, I'm telling you, bro. Look 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 at the bounce back. Man, look, I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. This is the first time I was ever around holding a uniform alpha shoe in person. And the fucking shoe looks just like a retail pair. If you never been, if you never been around a uniform alpha, you can't say shit on shit. 
You got to be, you have to see this shoe in person. Because a lot of the times you got motherfuckers who think they're inspecting their gadget by looking at a screen on their small ass phone or their fucking laptop or computer and be like, that's fake. That's fake. I know it's fake. Never been around a fucking uniform alpha shoe, but that's fake. It's fake. I, I know. I know. You don't know shit because you've never been around it. I'm telling you right now, this motherfucking shoe looks real. It looks legit. Now, before I get out of here, and don't get it twisted, this is not me. This is not Skip. Hey, Skip on here trying to uh trying to uh, trying trying to make people get. I'm not trying to make people get shit because you're a grown ass person. You can get what you want to get. Anybody that's walking around with UA shoes, you're not hurting me. I would rather a motherfucker walk around in UA shoes instead of backdooring the shit that I really want. Let's get the shit. Let's let's get it real. Would you rather motherfuckers wear UAs or motherfuckers bow guarding your favorite sneaker shop, your stores in the mall, and backdooring all the fucking pairs and you can't get your size? Which one do you want? You want somebody that, that's wearing the shit that looks like the shit you want? Or you want somebody to be backdooring all the fucking shoes at your mall and you can't get shit? Which one do you want? Kiss my fucking ass. I would rather a, mother, I would rather a whole army wear fucking uh, uniform alphas instead of me got to uh, fight through resellers and try to get some shit I really want. But I can't because they backdooring shit. Man, I'll kiss my fucking ass, bro. All you, all you, I pledge allegiance. To the Jordan flag of the United States of all you motherfuckers like that, y'all need to realize you got people who will wear a UA proudly, which will give you the chance to get the fucking retail pair that you want so bad, or you can just have a whole bunch of sellers back for shit and you won't get shit to wear at all. Fuck out of here, bro. Y'all niggas need to niggas, 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 niggas need to start waking up. I don't give a shit if you wear a UA damn pair. It's not stopping me from getting my damn uh 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 pair from the big building all the stores, isn't it? Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't know what it is, man. Niggas, niggas need to wake up. Nah, man. Nah, man, bro. Man, I can't. Man, I can't do you, eh, bro. Man, that shit maybe itching and shit, bro. Oh my god, oh, my hair starting to fall out, bro. Man, I can't. Man, the UA, bro. The, oh, the UA, the UA. Yeah, you say all that UA shit, but let a motherfucker bogart the mall and and backdoor all the pairs you trying to get for retail. And then you have no choice to have to go fucking get a uh, uh, pay your shit for resale. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, bro. If you wear UAs proudly, damn it, I I commend, I salute you, I commend you. Keep wearing fucking UAs so I can fuck around and get my shit, my retail pairs that I really want to wear, instead of having to pay a reseller knee pad and zipper prices for a fucking shoe. Got this shit retail right here. I got one retail and I got another one for my homie that's in this chat right now. You got motherfuckers spending $450, $500 for this shoe right here. If you did it, it's all good. Hey, you do what you want to do. It's your money. You're not hurting people. You're not robbing people. You work hard. If you want to spend $350, $400, 455 for a fucking monk of one, you can do it. But you got somebody that will wear the same shoe that looks just like the fucking retail pair and it's a UA and you look down on them. Like they're the ones that's backdooring the real pairs and keeping you from wearing the legit pair. Niggas need to wake up, bro. This shoe right here looks fucking legit. This pair, Jack, what's up, bro? Henry, what's up? This pair right here, this fake fucking Travis Scott Chicago one, I know, <laughs> looks... The, the materials is just like this damn retail uh, Mocha One right here. And I'm telling you all, because I can speak on this shit, because this is the first time I have held a uniform alpha shoe. Smell it. I can feel it. I'm looking at the shoe right now. The fucking shoe looks legit, bro. It looks legit. And if you've never been around a uniform alpha shoe, you can't speak on what the shit looks like. You can't see through your little small ass phone or a fucking computer screen. You're not here with me holding this shoe and looking at this shoe. So you can't say shit about, nah, bro, the, 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 the tongue is stiff. How the fuck do you know if the tongue is stiff if you're not sitting here with me? The tongue is stiff. The, the tongue is stiff. You see that from your small ass phone or your computer screen. You can tell that the tongue is stiff. You can tell. And you're not sitting here with me right now. Man, yeah, shut the fuck up, bro. 
These niggas right here, I, I pledge allegiance to all the retail shoes of the United States of the Nike flag. And, and with the Republic, for which it stands, one shoe, one midsole, all, all that fucking shit. Y'all niggas, stop with that shit, bro. Stop. And niggas up there going crazy, talk cash shit about somebody that'll wear a fucking UA because they don't want to spend gawk. They, they, they don't want to spend two hands of fist on a fucking shoe when they can get the shit that's uniform alpha and looks just like the fucking retail pair. But people will talk shit about somebody who wears a UA. Man, y'all need to cut that shit out. Now, if you've been around an actual uniform alpha shoe, holding it, sniffing it, touching it, if you've been around one and you're still like, look, if it ain't OG, it ain't me. If the shit ain't if, if the shit ain't legit resale, it ain't getting no sale. You know what I mean? If you're still like that, hey, by all means, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. This 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 live right here, this portion of this live is not me just talking shit about people who don't like UAs. I'm not trying to say that shit. I'm just saying this shit right here. This fucking fake ass Travis Scott Chicago One High feels just like this fucking real legit retail pair of this mocha one on materials. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. That's what I'm trying to explain to you all right now. This is my first time being around a, a fucking uniform alpha shoe and the shit looks, feels just like the shit came from fucking finish line, Foot Locker, Champs, wherever the little puss ass stores, y'all like shoot all that shit. Y'all need to get real, bro. Skip has seen the light. <laughs> I did see the light. I was like, shit. I mean, like, man, all the times motherfuckers were talking about Troll McGannon with these shoes and don't even know these bitches look, man, look, I don't blame Troll, Troll McGannon, you're watching, I don't blame you for not wanting to pay two fits, uh, two fits prices for no fucking shoe. People think that Troll McGannon is against retail pairs. No! He is against having to pay two fits gulp, gulp fucking prices for a shoe you can get and you don't have to pay re resale for. That's what he's against. Now, I'm not I'm not trying to hold Troll McGettis nuts. I'm not juggling his nuts right now, speaking big on him. I'm just saying, look, you got to realize this is what he's talking about. If you want to pay the if you want to pay the two fist gawk gawk knee pad and uh and uh uh uh, uh zipper prices, by all means go ahead. But I said last night if you're a friend of mine, I consider you a friend of mine. Damn near a brother. And if you're paying resale, I'm not putting knee pads and zipper prices name on you. Because I respect you. And you work hard for your fucking money. And if you want to pay the resale, you can pay the resale. I only say that gawk, gawk, zipper, two-fifths price shit for the people who I don't know and don't like me. Fuck you. So just know if I like you, I consider you a friend. If you pay resale for a shoe, by all means do it. You work hard for your money. You can do whatever you want to do. But if you don't like me and don't know who I am and you paying two fist knee pad zipper prices for a shoe, well, by all means, then you on paying you goof ass uh, spending all that big money for a fucking shoe where you can get this shit uh, uh, somewhere else and you can spend, I don't really know the going rate for uniform alpha shoes. I don't know. But nigga, ain't nobody spending no 400, 500 for no fucking mocha one. I'm not. Shit. Man, you kiss my ass, nigga. The fuck, man, you niggas, bro. My bad, y'all. I know y'all was probably typing this. Shit. Okay, I hear you, Skip. With all that being said, would you buy a UA if you didn't hit on a hype sneaker? I wouldn't. I wouldn't because to me, if I miss out on a shoe, some shoes, I'm just like, if I miss out on it, it is what it is. It is what it is. There's plenty of shoes that I like, like the, the the Travis Scott Six, the British khakis. I wanted it. I mean, it wasn't a shoe that I was like, I need, but I wanted it, but I missed out on it. It is what it is. There's plenty of shoes, and I'm talking about. I, I can only speak for Skip Goes Hard. There's plenty of shoes where I missed out on. I'm like, hey, hey, it is what it is. Because I know, bro. I've been doing this shit since '98. I know Jordans. Jordans are going to come back out again. 
Anybody that missed on the 2011 Concords, what happened? Didn't they come back out again? If you missed out on the 2012 Bread 11s, didn't the Bread 11s come out again? If you missed out on the 2004 Cool Gray, uh, the 2004 Cool Gray Force, didn't these release again? You know what I mean? Don't y'all know? Don't y'all get it? These shoes come back out again. You know what I mean? Somewhat of a raging bull to Toros, you know what I mean? Which look fire. These shoes are going to come out again. Let me read the chat. You said the chat wilding right now. I want to laugh. Skip said in this other video, you don't hit. That's just money in your bank. That's right. Like if you, you don't, if you don't hit on the shoe, you're saving that money for another release. Now there are people in the world who are like this, man. If I look, there's people in the world, and I know a few people when if they if they miss out on the shoe, oh, they go on the stock X on goat with the quickness. There's nothing wrong with that because I know them. You know what I mean? Like there's people out there. I know a few people. They'll be on sneakers app. That's just they sold out. They go straight to stock X, be like, but shit, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them one way or another. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying anything is wrong with there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just not that type of person to pay resale for a shoe. I had a homeboy look out for me with this one right here. He looked out for me. You know what I mean? My homeboy sent me this. He sent me these shoes. He sent me these to do a video on. Bro, this shoe looks like the motherfucker came out. This, this motherfucker shoe looks like I, I, this, this shoe looks like it came from Nike sneakers. Like I hit on Nike sneakers with a uh, Chicago Travis Scott. And if this shoe were to ever come out, bro, motherfuckers will be getting their asses kicked up and down malls across the world for this ball. And I mean, it, I mean, this ain't gonna come to no mall. What I'm talking about, like maybe a little boutique shop and shit, or like, uh, yeah, and this ain't releasing no mall. They have to shut the whole mall down. They'll have to look if these motherfuckers releasing the mall, they will have to be like, look, we are shutting the mall down. Make sure if you hit on any of these shoe stores, you will have a police escort to and from your car. As soon as you get to your car, hey, good luck. If these motherfuckers are releasing the mall, if they were like, you know, like a like a for real, like legit pair, man shit. Did you try them on? Nah, bro, this is a size 10. This is not my shoe. This is a size 10. I wear, y'all know what I wear. They came in this box right here. It says Air Jordan 1 High OG Travis Scott SP. Look. Look at the paper. Look at this pair. The pair came with the laces. You know what I mean? I just feel like, I just feel like it seems like it's, like it's a battle. It's a war. I'm crying tears of joy right now. <laughs> people, people make it seem like it's a war. Like it's civil war. Like it's Gettysburg out this moment. North versus South. When it comes with uniform alpha and legit or whatever the hell you want to call like just regular retail pairs. Bottom line, if you don't want to pay two fist gawk gawk zipper knee pad prices for a shoe, like Super Rupa says, man, there's options out here. You know what I mean? Troll McGannon has been saying this shit. 
Tromageddon is not against regular retail. If you follow the man on, on, on IG, he's on fucking Nike sneakers app just like us trying to get a fucking pair of wear. But he always he all he always strikes out. So he's like, fuck it. You think I'm gonna give a reseller damn near a comma for a shoe? No. He's gonna go to where he's gonna go and he's gonna get what he's gonna get. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. My last words before I go. If you never been around or had the chance to hold and sniff and feel a knowingly uniform alpha shoe, then you can't say shit about people wearing their UAs. How about paying resale prices for UA? Shit. Some people, some I feel so I hey Jack, I feel sorry for the people who got duped and ended up paying resale prices for a fucking uniform alpha shoe. There's people right now that pay this motherfucker right now wearing a uniform alpha brown Travis Scott one high. That motherfucker spent that damn sixteen hundred dollars for a size and don't even know that shit uniform alpha. They don't know. But you know the crazy thing about it is they don't know, and every time they wore that shoe, nobody else knows. Everybody else thinks that shoe was is 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 retail legit. The motherfucker who spent four fifteen hundred. And every time he wears that shit in public, motherfuckers dapping him up, getting him a high five, slapping him on the ass like he's an athlete. They like, hey, bro, I mean, you got the uh, man, damn, bro, yeah, man, hey, man, I had to pay retail, bro. How much you? Pay? I mean, I had to pay resale, bro. How much you pay, man? Fifteen hundred, shit, man, that's worth it. And they don't even know that that shit he has on his feet is fucking uniform alpha, because they look, because they look that good. Man, motherfuckers need to wake up, bro. I'm like this. I don't own any uniform alpha shoes. And I feel like I don't need a shoe that much for me to get a uniform alpha shoe. I'm telling you right now, I'm not against it. I'm, I'm not against it. But there hasn't been a shoe that, I mean, look, I'm going to tell you what. The playoff 12s is my grail 12. But I tell you all the times, I built the relationships. I have some kind of plugs. So I know when that shoe comes out and I have people that will look out for me. I know that I'll end up getting that shoe. I don't when it, whenever the playoff twelves come out, I'm sure it's not gonna be no limited shoe. It's probably gonna be a GR. You know what I mean? When GR means a shoe that's gonna be for the masses. You know what I mean? But I've never really wanted a shoe that bad for me to be like, fuck it, I'm gonna go the uniform alpha way. That's why I don't have any uniform alpha shoes. And I'll tell you what, if I were to ever, 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 ever get a uniform alpha shoe buy one and have a uniform alpha shoe that's my size and my collection best believe it'll be a shoe that i know for a fact skip goes hard is not paying no fucking comma for no damn shoe the only way you will see me spending resale damn near a comma for a shoe is if i show you my driveway and you see that motherfucking BMW uh, M5 out that bitch. Or you see that, that, you see that goddamn Hellcat in that damn driveway. You see that Porsche, uh, what's the name of the, uh, the four-door Porsche? What's the name of the four-door Porsche? The, uh, the, uh, the sedan. It's the, uh, I mean, y'all know, what's the name of the four-door Porsche? I'm waiting for somebody to type it. The Porsche with four doors, the, the Pan, the, 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 the Panamera. You, if you if you if you see me wearing some shoes, that's a comma. Just know I'm gonna show you the front of my house, and you're gonna see a fucking super. You can see a fucking McLaren out in my damn shit. That's when you know. Okay, yeah, he got the money. By then, I'm not spending no damn comma for no fucking shoe, and I don't never want to shoot that bad that I'll go the uniform alpha route. He said Pan American, <laughs> but yeah, that's mainly it. I'm putting my homeboy's shoes away. Size 10. Y'all know I'm not no size 10. So, yo, you're not going to see me with these on my feet, walking around, acting like they're real, because I know they're not real. My homeboy sent them to me. 
He knows her not real. We ain't see no celebrity, no rapper, no acting ass nigga with these with, with these with these on feet yet. But here I am, little old little old black skip goes hard from Texas with 14,000 subscribers out of all the people in the world, out of all the sneaker YouTubers in the world who always consistently get early shit. They don't have it, but Skip goes hard. He has a fucking pair of Travis Scott Chicago highs. Come on now. Y'all know, you know that I know that I'm not even going to be going around making a video talking about these are real. Nigga, these are not real. I know that. <laughs> the fuck? Movers came in a brown box. That Panamera stick. Damn, damn, that hole goes so hard. I see them all the time around here. It's crazy in my, <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy in my, in, in, in my housing development, or my neighborhood or whatever. It's like us and then there's a road and then on the other end is like what you see, like the new Corvettes and the fucking McLaren. Like there's a dude that drives like a uh, there's a dude that drives like an electric blue uh McLaren. If you know your y'all you, know like that, y'all y'all know like that old Honda Civic blue, the Honda Civic SI blue. You know all my car heads, all you Fast and the Furious ass like car racing people. If you like Hondas. Like, y'all know that Honda Civic SI Blue? That's like a 99. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the Honda Civic, that SI Blue. Yeah, there's a dude who dressed like an SI Blue colored McLaren. And he's like, in the neighborhood, like, I don't know. But like, this motherfucker But yeah, that Panamera, bad. I see him. I see that. And I see the dude with the McLaren. I see the dude with that new Corvette that looks like a fucking Ferrari. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, shit, y'all. Hey, um, y'all take care. Ah, right, this was a dynamite live, man. Everybody for the super chat, old school. Thank you. Shout out to the sneaker lover. I mean, he hit the super chat. I believe it was yesterday. Old school, y'all. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Troll again, and what up, bro? Troll, you still in here? Looking at, look at. But man, man, like I said, man, y'all take care. KT Lloyd, what's up, bro? 5150 looking ass. Hey, Skid, need for speed. Hell yeah. Hey, Lloyd, bro. Hey, hey, 5150 Lloyd looking ass. <laughs> but yeah, man. Hey, uh, my guy has a McLaren and a Lambo. He said he had the McLaren go the 180 on the way. I believe you. But, but, but people sleep on McLarens. Them bitches are fast. Hey, hey, the old days, y'all remember like growing up when the Lamborghini was like the fastest fucking car in the world? Nah, you got motherfucking McLarens. You got you got motherfuckers, you got souped up Nissan GTRs that'll whip a Lambo ass. You know what I mean? Like these, these cars are hauling ass nowadays, man. Those days of the Lambo being the fastest shit ever, nah, them shits are gone. You got motherfucking Nissan GTRs that'll whip a Lambo's ass. You got McLarens that'll whip a Lambo ass. You got Lambos that'll whip a lot of cars' ass, too. Let's not get it fucked up. You got souped-up Hellcats and Demons and shit that'll whip a Lambo ass. There's some fast-ass cars out here in the world now, shit. Look at But, yeah, man, hey, thank you all so much, man. Another legend. Oh, you got Audis that be hauling ass and shit? Uh, Supras and shit? Yeah. Y'all take care. Thank you all, man. We had another legendary live. It started out slow because of the time of day I went live, and all of a sudden, motherfucker showed up. Y'all showed out. Turtle, turtle, Dick, Barry, Larry, what up? <laughs> y'all, man, y'all take care. Uh, I reached out to Troll, Rob, and Rupa. They all hit me back. Oh, shit, I ain't see it. You goes. <laughs> Damn, you pushing the you go? <laughs> and they put me, and they put me in a good direction. They saw, they, uh, they saw it. They, they saw the people. Yeah, man. Yeah, but uh, my Kia Altima got a V8 turbo. Oh shit! My Kia Altima got a V8 turbo. Can't mess with me. Hey, hey, these 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 little puss ass cars with these turbos and shit. Hey, they they move. They move. But shit, man. Hey, I'm I, hey, I'm gonna let y'all go, man. Hey, I gotta go to work in a little bit, man. Thank y'all so much, man. Like I said, man, I started this live. I started my live in the odd hour. I'm not usually live at this time. 
But like I said, man, y'all showed up, man. Y'all showed up and y'all showed out, man. We had a nice, oh, that Hyundai inline. KT, yeah, you talking cars now. I'm all I'm all on cars, bro. They inline haul ass too. Let me see. But shit. Okay. But yeah, man, look at that, man. Y'all take care. Y'all take care. Hold it down, man. Take care of yourselves, man. That's the only thing I say, man. Hey, I am the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest sneaker YouTuber on earth. Facts. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to the channel. Everybody in there. Landon, what up, bro? Landon Fairbanks looking at anybody in here, man. Hey, just, uh, man, like I said, man, tell a friend to tell a friend, bro. You know what I mean? Subscribe to the channel. Y'all take care. Skip, you go to Dallas Sneaker Con? No, nah, man, I won't be able. It was such such a short notice from when that shit just popped up saying they're going to be in Dallas. I can't take off. No word. So, shit. Daddy don't work. Uh, uh, no J's. No J's for daddy. That means daddy said. When daddy said, daddy don't want to do shit. When daddy don't want to do shit, and daddy ain't going to be about shit. Look at this. And daddy likes J's, and daddy works, and, and, and take care of shit. So, uh... <laughs> Y'all take care. Legendary Live. I'm out. Peace. I had fun today. Thank y'all. Look at this. Miss Hot, you little bitch. <laughs>